Hi, I'm Jim Wright. In Post Builder Lesson 4, we'll explore tool changes and work offsets. Our lesson plan will examine an existing tool change. We will then modify that tool change function by adding a tool preselect. And finally, we'll add fixture offset capability to our post processor. As a reminder, this lesson builds on the previous post that we've already created. It's a three-axis mill for a Fanuc 6M control. Let's get started. In this lesson, I want to take a look at tool changes and how PostBuilder handles them. In NX, I can see that each of these operations that I have, five altogether, each of them has a tool change. I know that because there is a tool symbol in the tool change column. So let's return to PostBuilder and see how PostBuilder handles tool changes. To find a tool change in PostBuilder, we go to the Program and Toolpath tab, and then the Program sub tab, and finally the Operation Start Sequence. In the Operation Start Sequence, we can scroll down and see that there are two types of tool changes. An automatic tool change for machines that have automatic tool changers, and then manual tool changes for those machines that don't. For a manual tool change, we simply output an M0 or a program stop. For an automatic tool change, we go through three blocks. G91, G28, Z0. This is intended to return the machine to a home position for the Z axis. Then we have the M6 code, which means change the tool, along with the actual tool being changed. And then finally, we have a tool preselect to bring the next tool up and make it ready for the next tool change. How does that work in NX? I'll post process this single operation using our 3 axis 1 post. And you can see that we have the tool code with the M6, but there is no next tool code. Hmm, why is that? Well, it's because we don't have an extra tool change. There is no tool preselect for the next tool because there is no next tool in the sequence. If I were to highlight the entire program, and post-process it. Then I can see that the next tool is being called up and then placed in the spindle. That's something that you should keep in mind when you're testing your post. If you're not getting the output you need, perhaps you're not testing the post in the way that you need. My particular machine requires that the tool be called up before the M6 tool change and then it be repeated during the tool change. So let's go fix that in PostBuilder. In PostBuilder, I will add a new block right before the current tool change. Auto tool change 3. Add the T code set to, in this case, tool select, the same tool that we placed into the spindle. Drag that down and drop it in place. I choose OK. Now, because the T code is a modal word, and I want that word to be repeated both in this block and in this block, I need to make sure that in the next block that force output is turned on. I click on the block to edit it. I see this white block here 
that indicates that force output is indeed turned on. I can use mouse button 3 to check to make sure that it is turned on. Notice that if I turn it off, the white block goes away. Choose OK. Save the post. And test it. Now I have the tool being called up as a pre-select position. Then the tool is called up again with a tool change. And then finally the tool is pre-selected for the next position. Tool 6, M6, T07. Now here's a question. Why didn't the T code get repeated right here above the T06 M6. The answer is in Post Builder that word is not set to force output. Let me prove that to you. On this line of code the T code is not set to force output. And since the T code has already been pre-selected, it is not repeated and therefore that entire line is not output. Now you may have noticed that we're not outputting a fixture offset coordinate, G54 through G59. That is a very common request and we need to support that. So how do we do that? At the operation start sequence, there are two items here we need to look at. The initial move and the first move. These two sound very similar to each other, so I need to define what they are. What is the initial move and when does it occur? And what is the first move and when does it occur? The key items here are in bold. The initial move happens when the operation has a tool change. The first move only occurs if there is no tool change. So generally speaking, anything you add to the initial move should also be added to the first move. Let's return back to Post Builder. So now back in Post Builder, we have a decision to make. Do we want the work offset coordinates output at the initial move or the first move? The initial move includes a tool change, so I think it's pretty obvious that we need it there, but we might also need it at the first move. I'll place it at the initial move, and then if you want to experiment with placing it at the first move also, you can do that. Add a new block at the initial move. I'll call this work offset. Then I select the G code group, which I want to add. Remember, I can hover over each g-code to find out what the available values are. The g-code I want to add is from the second group. Now this is very tricky because there are two that look very very similar. There's the work coordinate selection and the MCS fixture offset. I've always used the MCS fixture offset and that's the one I'll choose this time. So I drag that down, place that as a word in the list, and then I want to see what that mom variable is that's being called. I can choose edit and I see that what we're doing here is we're taking whatever value gets typed into something in NX and we're adding 53 to it. Okay, simple math. 
cancel this, choose OK, and now I'll save the post. Now let's return to Cam Express and see what we need to do there. First I go to the Geometry view, then I double click on the MCS object to open it up, and then I see an item called Fixture Offset. If you don't see it, you may need to open the Details panel. Remember, whatever value I type in here gets added to 53. So if I want G56, I would put in the number 3. Another way to look at that is 1 is G54, 2 is G55, 3 is G56, etc. Choose OK. This type of change in NX does not require a regeneration. I can go straight to post processing. Post process. Use the three axis post. And there's the G56 value output before we do any motion. In this lesson, you learned how to examine an existing tool change, modify that tool change by adding a tool preselect to it. We also explored how to add fixture offset numbers to the NC program. Under the work offset view, which by the way you get there using geometry view and then MCS, the number 0 means none or G53, the number 1 is G54, 2 is G55, 3 is G56, etc. all the way up to G59. Now that behavior will change in NX 8.5. Stay tuned to the documents for changes. Question. What is the difference between the initial move and the first move? The initial move happens after a tool change. The first move happens when there is no tool change. Thanks for viewing. Our next lesson will be beginning TCL.